Welcome to another Forging with a Wild Man. I'd made a few mistakes on my other video I did this morning, so I didn't realize it until uh, Loretta had sent me a, a pic. And, uh, hun, this is the passion vine right here. You see, see the leaves? I mean, always, always check and make sure and don't just take my word for it uh, because I do make mistakes. But this is your passion vine right here and here is the flower and here is the unripe fruit right here. It'll turn yellow and you can make this into a wonderful jelly or just, just eat it when it's yellow. But this plant, and I'm, I'm going to do a more in-depth uh, video on the plants I was showing so it may be a little longer and I do apologize like I say I'm human I'm, I make mistakes and uh, the passion flower is uh, used as a dietary supplement for anxiety and sleep problems as well as for pain heart rhythm problems menopause symptoms and attention deficit hypertension disorder it is applied to the skin for burns and to treat hemorrhoids and that is what this lovely plant uh, is is used for. Now, for me, I, and how you would prepare it, it would any the plant can be used and dried and used in tea form for uh, internal use. But always do your own research. Like I say, some I'm human, and sometimes I make mistakes. And uh, but always do your own research. But that is the passion flower right there. I've dried it in uh, the leaves and uh, took it in tea form and it hypes me up instead of having a sedative effect. It wires me up like a seven day clock. And uh, we'll go on to our next plant. But it does make beautiful gold yellow jelly. The, the fruit does. So let's go find our next plant. And that is called passion fruit. Okay, to our next plant. This is called iron weed, like iron, like metal, iron weed. And uh, I'll tell you what it's used for. Iron weed is traditionally has been used to treat fever, malaria, arthritis, worms, gestational disorders, coughs, asthma, menstrual pain, diarrhea, blisters, and bulls, snake bite, uh, psoriasis, can Congingivitis and malaria, or C O N J U C T I V I T I S. Con I can't pronounce that. And malaria. The herb is also considered a sedative and tranquilizer, just like the passion fruit. This one is considered to have tranquilizing effects. Now, I've never tried this one, but uh, I may do it. I may dry some of the leaves and see if it has. A sedative effect. I know the butterfly sure seem to love it. And uh, but always be sure of your uh, your wild medicals and edibles because it's even people that's been doing it for years can make mistakes. And uh, sometimes I want to say something and something else comes out. So always check me and don't be afraid to correct me. Uh, let's move on to another plant. Here's our mullein. Most people know it. With its uh, leaves, it's used for smoke for coughs. And uh, you can make a tea out of it for coughs as well. Or it's tincture. And the flowers, when they bloom, are good for a lot of things. And this is the wild carrot. And uh, it is, uh, there's a grasshopper on it, see me. It's used as a, uh, to make you pee a lot, a lot diuretic. And uh, here's something, it's just little, little, little coming up. But uh, it's also a food and a medical, which a lot of your medicines are food. And uh, this one is good 
good little medical plant for asthma and bronchitis, your mulling. Now we'll go on to the nut sage. Okay, this is your nut sage right here. Grass. It is, has tuberous roots that produce nutlets and uh, they were produced to make more weeds. It makes them ideal for soups and sweets and they can be cooked, the rootlets. That is nut sage. Thanks for uh, forging with a wild man. And uh, I'm sorry about the earlier video. Uh, some of them couldn't understand what the plant was. My phone, uh, I don't know how far to to, uh, to get from it and the sound still be good. But, uh, and I did make a few mistakes. I was going to do another one of the day flower, but I've done one of them. And they're dried. They're closed up right now. So, uh, but most of my videos on my foraging walks is is plants that I've already discussed in my in my list of useful plants, and uh, just like the same ones here today. But sometimes I do make mistakes, so always, always check and do research for yourself when uh, on these wild medical and edible plants but uh, I saw that and I said I didn't know what that is on that one and uh, and so I wanted to correct because I don't want to mislead anyone but always do your own research and God bless you and thanks for watching Arkansas Wild Man Survival